What is going on Diablo fans? Dobrunsky here today with a somewhat interesting mercenary build experiment. I want to see if I can make a viable Act 5 mercenary. Now the biggest issue with these mercs is they don't have the widespread of very powerful full arm rumors and uniques to use that the Act 2 mercenaries do as well as they don't have the support aura so there's no might aura Holy freeze or anything like that with the act 5 merc and that is the biggest downfall it's associated with any act 5 hireling but with that being said i'm going to go over a potential act 5 mercenary build that's viable if you guys want to run something very niche and is super unique when i was trying to think of which character could I actually make practical use of an act 5 mercenary it was honestly kind of tough but i settled on the niche summoning uh, corpse exploding mf necro build that i just recently released a video on the link for that is in the description below but if you haven't checked out that video basically the premise of the build is using corpse explosion with a hard hitting mercenary and amp damage right so you teleport in a level 85 area like the ancient tunnels cast amp damage uh, your mercenary gets the first kill as quickly as possible with some hard hitting weapon and then you use corpse explode to obliterate the room and you support that mercenary with the beast runeward which gives you the fanaticism aura so I thought that an Act 5 Mercenary would actually be somewhat viable for this build. I am missing out on the Might Aura from the Act uh, 2 Mercenary, but I do have a hard-hitting weapon on this guy. He has the max increase attack speed breakpoint with the particular gear setup and B support. And yeah, on Players 1, it's actually pretty viable. So I'll quickly go over the gear and then we'll talk about some alternative options and then we'll dive into a few run examples and showing you that while it is very niche and not the best setup by far, I can actually make viable use of an Act 5 Mercenary. The premise behind this Mercenary is to stack as much damage and increase attack speed as possible so he's hitting hard and fast. That sounded really bad. He's hitting hard and fast to get that first kill as quickly as possible and then blowing up the whole room with Corpse Explosion. That's why I think I can actually make an Act 5 Mercenary viable for this character. So the body armor we want with Fortitude. You could use an alternative like Chains of Honor but Fort the raw 300 ED is just your best bet. Uh, the helmet, there's really one top tier option, that'd be G-Face for Crushing Blow and Deadly Strike, and you could put like a Cham Rune in it or Ruby Jewel Fervor, depending on what weapon you choose to run on this barb. Now that is really important guys, I have a link in the description below for the D2IS calculator. You can plug in your weapon and substitute the Fanaticism bonus for Beast and you can actually calculate breakpoints. But uh, I just have this horrible obsession with having all F items on my Mercenary, so I went with an F Ariad's Face with a 32 ED and 8 to Dexterity Jewel. So again, G-Face is probably best for raw damage. If you have all kinds of wealth, you could put like a Cham Rune for Cannot Be Frozen. Um, I just stuck a random 32 ED, 8 to Dexterity Jewel in this helmet. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's got 2 to Combat Skills, 2 to Barb Skills, which boosts his Stun and Bash. Uh, we have FHR, bonus to attack rating, life stolen per hit. So, I mean, Ariats is a nice substitute. Now, for the weapon, this is where things get a little interesting. I went with more of a budget option. Uh, Oath in a Belrog blade, excuse me. A Shale Pull Mal Lum. Uh, it's 342 to 739 two handed damage. So, that's close to a pull arm, not quite there. But uh, the really good thing about this rumor is it has 50 increased attack speed and just a lot of raw enhanced damage and damage to demons. But with this 50 IS and the level 9 fanaticism from Beast, this Act 5 Mercenary hits the maximum increased attack speed breakpoint. So he's just attacking at I think 4.56 attacks per second, which is awesome. You could use something like Breath of the Dying, that's a better version than Oath. Extremely expensive though, but it is a better version with more enhanced damage. Uh, the attack speed doesn't really matter, but yeah, Life Leech, um, more enhanced damage. It is probably the top tier option. Death is also a really solid option. You do have to watch out though, it has the Glacial Spike proc, which isn't too much of a problem, but the odd time you will shatter corpses, it's not the end of the world. But you do have a lot of Deadly Strike and Crushing Blow with that option as well. And you could use something like Grief in a two-handed sword, or a Phase Blade, depending on actually... Okay, you could use... If you use Ariats, you could use a Phase Blade if you wanted to. You have enough Dexterity. I think it's 136 is the Dex requirement. But yeah, there's definitely multitude of different viable options in terms of weapons, but really you just want something that does a lot of damage and attacks really fast. And Oath is honestly the 
top tier budget option uh, for this Act 5 Merc. So now that I've covered uh, the gear on this Act 5 Mercenary and talked about a couple different alternative options, we'll do a few Ancient Toma runs on players one difficulty, and you guys can reference the video below. Uh, the link for it is in the description. Again, you can compare the run times and how quickly the Act 5 Mercenary gets the kill compared to Act 2. Now, obviously, Act 2 is slightly better, but I do think that for this super niche setup, this Act 5 Mercenary is viable. So, always, quick little tip, talk to Warov and go west to Act 1. It's just a quick way to get to the waypoint, then go to the Lost City. This saves you if you're doing Ancient Tunnel runs, constantly running to the waypoint in Act 2. It's the same idea as the previous build video. Kelly Stomp, Amp, Mercenary gets the kill, and then you Corpse Explode. Very simple build, except this time we're using a viable Act 5 Mercenary. It's pretty much one- pretty much one-shotting everything. As long as we- it's better if the monsters are clumped together, and they're not spread out, so you can get Corpse Explosion to kind of take over and do the rest of the damage. Oh, this is a really bad, uh, spawn map. Amp damage, so he gets that first kill right away, and then we clear the room, no problem. We'll do two more runs. Wasn't a lot of boss packs in that, uh, that AT map. And honestly, the Act 5 Mercenary looks cool. Now, there is two skills that the Act 5 Mercenary can use, Bash and Stun. Bash is kind of annoying because it, uh, like it's just knocking them away and it takes longer for him to get the kill. But Stun is actually, believe it or not, somewhat viable. Like if you Tele Stomp into a boss back and then he uses Stun. I mean, it's kind of overkill, but it definitely, I mean, it's just extra crowd control, right? Something that the Act 2 Mercenary doesn't have. And these guys actually have a lot more health than the Act 2 Mercs as well. Just something that I didn't know until I actually read it online. And they also have higher poison, it's either poison resist, not poison resistance, excuse me, it's, it's uh, poison recovery and duration of how long they're poisoned. It's actually better than the Act 2 Mercenary. Yeah, that bash is a little bit annoying, slightly slower. You're right there when he knocks him back. I mean, he's just one-shotting stuff. Gets the kill. Pretty much one-shotting stuff unless it's a monster that he bashes and knocks him back, which just slow everything down a little bit. Phoenix Shark Tooth Armor. Okay, we'll do one more run. Let's see. We can get a Death Fathom. Item I've been hunting for forever. Now, I will admit, I know I'm going to get some comments below. This is a super niche setup, and it's not as good as an Act 2 Mercenary, but with a couple gear changes, which again, if you're referring to the video in the description below, you get to see all this gear, but uh, it's like, it's not top tier, but it's something that's different and actually fun. And I'm going to try and follow up this video series with messing around with a couple Act 1 Mercenaries and Act 3 to see if I can kind of create a spectrum of somewhat viable uh, mercenaries that nobody uses. You guys can look forward to that. This is kind of the start of that video series. But if you guys have a Necro and you want to do something different, you guys got to try this build out. So here they're kind of spread out. Not too bad, I guess. Maybe just for funsies, I'll cast up damage and we'll let, let the mercenary just do his thing. You can see him in action. He hits pretty quick. It's just the bash and the stun is kind of annoying. But, there you go guys. That is everything that I wanted to cover. Just a short video again. I mean, it is expensive and niche. I mean, fortitude. You could substitute that with like Breath of the Dying, G-Face if you wanted uh, Crushing Blow, Deadly Strike, and then we are complementing that with an Enigma Necro with Beast Support. So it is very expensive, but I mean, it's something different than the traditional meta stuff. But uh, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. 
Uh, if you could throw a like on it, share it, and even consider subscribing if you're new to my channel. I post new weekly content and stream on a consistent basis, so your support with a sub would mean a lot. Other than that, guys, hope you have a fan freaking fantastic day, and I'll see you all in my next Diablo 2 video or live stream. Peace out. Yeah.